Hey, what's up YouTube? Hey, this is a Tesla switch that I had been playing with for a day or so. And I just was going to show a video here of different ways to make this actuate. So if anyone's not familiar with it, the Tesla switch is really the Brandt switch. This guy, Ron Brandt, developed it and gave it to John Bedini, if you read up on it. But uh, what it's really doing is it's taking two batteries that are in series so there'd be 24 volts and then it sends um from the positive side over to two batteries that are in parallel right so they're at 12 so obviously current's going to flow from the 24 volt bank to the 12 bank the banks are connected by the negative line uh, and then you put a load between the two um, but the novelty is that you switch them back and forth really quickly so Carlos Benitez and his patent <clears throat> has this same process, but it's it's slow, where this is done very rapidly. So there's a few ways to do this. And this way I'm showing here, uh, I use relays. And if you use three relays and set it up this way, um, you just need to trigger them together and uh, you can get it up pretty quick. So um, here I've got three relays. And I'm actually triggering them with a 555 timer you can just get off of Amazon. And I'll show you, it's pulling very little um, power, about one watt to run it. And uh, the actual relays take about um, a watt or a watt and a half to run. Now there's another way to do it as well. Um, this is actually a mechanical switch I wired up uh, with a speed controller. And I can do it that way and I can get much faster switching times up to about 50 Hertz. But the problem is it takes a lot more power out of the battery. And so it's not as efficient and these relays get really hot. So using this 555 timer, 555 timer, I can get it to about 33 Hertz max. Um, but the load I have going here is, um, goes through this rectifier. So this is between the negatives of the battery banks. It's going to a boost converter because it's only putting out about nine volts. This boosts it up to, uh, I think it's 14 and a half, which then runs back to this battery. And this battery is running the 555 timer and it's running the relays. And what I'm seeing is I can run the system and recharge this battery. So I'll show it to you real quick. Um, these batteries, you know, the real question is how long will they last? I've ran these all day today. They've dropped a little bit of voltage. Um, but anyhow, they're not going to run forever. I know that, but it will charge this big 70 amp hour battery. So I'll just turn it on here. It's kind of loud. Okay. So there you can hear it. The timer right here is, um, it's actually triggering this solenoid and this solenoid triggers these three. Uh, which then works according to the diagram, and that's the power that's being used to drive the relays. So it's about 150 milliamps. That's the power driving the 555 timer. It's less than 100 milliamps. When you add these up, and this is around 12 volts, it's about 2 watts. Um, what's going between the batteries then is going to the boost converter. But the boost converter is putting out about... 750 or 800 milliamps, which is close to 10 watts. So you're using about two watts here to run the system. It's giving you back uh, about 10 watts. And then the question is how long will these batteries last? So, so far data's got them at, you can see here, they are slowly dropping. Um, going back earlier in the day, we were up in the higher 13s but not that much higher. So we've been over 13 volts on all four of them and they've been running, I don't know, 12 hours or so. But I uh, thought I would share that if anyone else. Oh, by the way, here's the waveform too. This is coming across the uh, bridge rectifier. Um, one nice thing about the 555 timer is you can adjust this pulse width, uh, which will actually drive the battery banks either more this way or more that way to try to keep them balanced. So I've had to tweak that a little bit. Uh, there's no spikes on there. If I take the boost converter off, you'll see a lot more spikes on here, but the capacitors in the boost converter kind of absorb the spikes. 
Um, but anyhow, there you have it. If you've ever played with a Tesla switch, this is one way to do it with relays and a 555 timer. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it works fairly well. So, thanks for watching.